this nicely. Depth perception is a problem with this old monitor of mine. Went black a while ago. <laughs> That's old age for you. Should look at getting the visual nerves reattached. It's just that the right eye would see the wrong things. <laughs> the flying tortoises <laughs> were the worst. Would you care for a mentat? and smarty. I have all sorts of amazingly science-horrific thoughts and ideas when those chalky tablets are zipping through my bio-gel. I forget them all not long after, though, especially with the data constipating my memory core. Afraid binary streams might shoot out my chassis. Had to start using the dome floor and walls here to inscribe equations. Although I've somewhat lost track of where they start and end. Really? That implies preconceived notions, theories, and a hypothesis about this meeting? Please extrapolate. What was I uh, supposed to be like? After all, it might be worth a cognitive realignment if your theoretical Mobius is better than I. of raisins, you're something of a homily. The uh, anomaly? You're, you're really quite special, and not in the cranially challenged way. You see, you are the most successful brain extraction experiment ever performed here at Big Mountain. A victim of your own success, as it were. If you were to go back with what your brain knows about the procedure, well... Your brain could be popped back in and you could walk right out of here. Can't have brains moving around of their own volition. Now, that seems to be rather hormonal of you. Flight or fight response, you know. Hard to cut that out completely. Your brain is here, safe with me. We chat over mentats. changes everything. Why, I can save my computing power for other perceptual impossibilities. Please be my guest. The receptor is there. And the side-switching wobbly bob? Just turn that. Good. Good. Better. Oh. Oh, yes. That feels wonderful. This is even better than my break. Do you? You seem fine without it. And does it even want to go back with you? Maybe you should ask it. It's quite independent. Has all manner of opinions. Tell you what, I'll leave it up to your brain. If it wants to go, then fine. If not, well, you should respect its wishes. Well, every scientist needs an arm. How scary, I thought. Then I thought. Then. tripping hard on Psycho when I sent that. Had to work myself up to it. Not usually violent, except when I am. Then, <laughs> watch out! So many chems, such varieties. As for the Psycho, sometimes get the chem dispositories in my tank all switched up. Did I? for it. Ethics or, uh, mm, calm science? You and your brain are quite alike. I'm sure it knows the raisins better than I do. Dr. Mobius. Rather catchy.
Apache, isn't it? <laughs> this name's as real as your... Someone's been watching too many old world science fiction movies, it said. I believe it meant me. I must admit I have a vulnerability for holotape fantasies of planets and robots and all that is forbidden. As for the name I was born with, like the think tank. Now, trap. What? Yes, I did. I said. The radar fence to keep the think tank hemmed in wasn't really enough. They keep testing. I suspect I have plan nines in place, but I may have coded myself to forget them, just in case. They're probably very dangerous, lethal, or worse. So I had to do something else to keep them occupied here, or as you like to say, trapped. I prefer to have several plan nines in case the sevens fail. Sure. 